Welcome to the Wizard of Modern Bot, guys. Thank you for joining me. So, uh, been a very interesting day. Very interesting. Day two continues to entertain everybody in Cape Town. Beautiful crowds. Over 52,000 people attended today. And it just shows you the kind of party this, this, this event is. What an amazing, amazing rugby moment and event and this kind of the thing that you want to be part of every time. So I thought I'd quickly just do a video breaking down the day, how the teams performed in that. So on this women's side, very interesting. Uh, Australia finally able to overcome their USA uh, jinx this year of Olympic winners and everything, but unfortunately having a hard time being in USA this year for sure, having issues in boss two ones, finally overcoming them this time. Their reward, they take on Fiji in the quarterfinal, it's going to be very interesting. USA, on the other hand, have to now take on their Canadian cousins, or neighbors rather, and that's been a little bit of a tough fixture for them so far, so we'll to see if they can overcome that. Uh, very interesting for sure. Uh, I have to admit the women's team, the women's South the women's sevens team for South Africa, unfortunately had a little bit of show so moments. Unfortunately, just not able to find the pace to compete with the other teams. Where I'm definitely noticing the women's sides, the pace is the important factor here. There's a lot of real talented ball players, but the teams who can actually get away and properly make uh, utilize those moments is definitely sets them apart. Canada and New Zealand by far having some of the best options out there. Russia also making it through, so really impressive of them. Unfortunately, South Africa could not um, capitalize on some good moments. So obviously, finally, France take on Russia. Very interesting game. Um, Russia, strong one, strong different performance from them, and that's what's giving them the, the chance over the, 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 the Springboks women's team, the uh, sevens team. So that was very, very good for them. And uh, they were just able to, to strong. South Africa did start strong, have some good opportunities, but just couldn't finish it. And Russia just ran over them in the end. New Zealand obviously taking on England. Very interesting. England just snatching it with taking over, uh, one over Spain. So um, New Zealand are, are still looking dominant here. I think that they can definitely take this one. But overall, Australia are looking hungry. They're looking very hungry. So I'm going to put my money on that kind of being the final. I think that's going to be a very interesting final. And I'd like to see what happens there. So on the men's side, um, a very interesting day. For sure. Very interesting. The the blitz book, let's start with them. Great, great games. Uh, they were just consistent, strong throughout. Um, didn't let yellow cards, some discipline problems for sure, but didn't let the yellow cards uh, deter them. Stay strong, had some good running, running moments. And I have to admit, probably the number one factor that helps the blitz book in these tournaments is the their ability to protect the ball. They're outstanding and protect the ball. Tackling and protecting the ball is probably their biggest asset. Um, and you could see it in the Fiji, Fiji game. They were very strong in that field. It was something that the Fiji love to do is run over you when it comes to uh, defending the ball. They did it very well against USA, but South Africa did not let them do it this time. So great to see South Africa keeping strong on that front. On the other hand, the Fijian side, um, just wow. <laughs> they continue to be a force. Yes, maybe Dubai wasn't the strongest start for them, but they continue to be a force, out, uh, out, especially on, on attacking the ball, trying to steal the ball and break down, uh, attacking on very live wire moments as they always do. But I think that they shocked even Japan with a beautiful, I mean, two yellow cars and they still get over 50, shows you the kind of uh, talent that team has, so definitely watch out for them. Other great performers, obviously, New Zealand, South Africa, um, Ireland and Kenya, and also, if I'm not mistaken, France um, have not lost a game so far today. It was in the tournament so far, going into knockout stages. So that's outstanding performance from one. Obviously, Ireland, Kenya, quite an interesting story as that they, they drew, and that's why they haven't lost a game to it. So five teams haven't lost even out of the four pools. Um, that obviously means that Kenya take on the Blitzbocker. That's going to be very interesting, and it's also that all African affair. The crowds are going to go nuts for that. It should be very good. Um, yeah, and I mean, Ireland are continuing to grow outstandingly. They're nice. Also going to be good knockout stage games against... Uh, they go up against... Oh, yes the Fijians. Very tough game, very tough game for them for sure. France taking in Los Pumas. Um, I'm I'm gonna put my money there on France, even though I have to admit Argentinians had some strong games so far today. France definitely just looked able to finish and close games well, whereas Argentina's having a hard time with that. Obviously the All Blacks taking on the Scotsmen. Uh, Scottish had some moments. They had some strong moments, but Overall, just not looking polished, and they, they definitely have moments of lapse of judgment. The New Zealanders, on the other hand, looking a lot more hungry and just being able to uh, play well to get play actually very strong together and having a lot of chemistry in that team. There's a lot of strong chemistry in that team, and I can see the youth of that New Zealand team starting to flourish 
which is going to be very interesting as they've had a hard time in the last two years really being able to get the team to strong together. So I think that flourish from that New Zealand team is going to be very important going going into this last uh, going into this knockout stage. It's going to be very interesting. But yeah. That's kind of how the day's gone. It's just a small breakdown. Uh, I am going to be posting some videos of kind of like some costumes, some footage of the day. So yeah, please watch out for that. Thanks, guys. Cheers.